Number eight, the burger. The ill. Ninety dollars. What? To ensure that the marination and infusion happens with perfect mastery. Of course. That's why it must be ordered 48 hours in advance of one's reservation. Oh, that's and crazy. Like all gourmet, Fleur Burger. Three thousand. Three thousand burger. That burger looks so simple. Turn it up. Mm. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yup, welcome back, Dukes and Dukettes. It's your man, Eddie Ed. Welcome back to Eddie Ed TV. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. It is free to the to the Dukes and Dukettes. Smash that like button, all that good stuff. Man, we got top 10 most expensive burgers in the world, okay? Now, I've seen burgers with gold on it. I've seen burgers with caviar on it. You know, that's all good and dandy, but do these expensive burgers taste good? You know, anything can be expensive, but is it, like, good quality? You know what I mean? So, let's hop in straight into it. Let's see if these burgers not only look good, but hopefully somebody does a taste test so they can see if it tastes good. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. It's the Yet TV. Bow. The top 10 most expensive burgers in the world. Let's get Welcome it. to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Ooh, Alux. Alux. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to a fully stacked top 10 video. Today, we're taking a look at some of the most. Fury oh, that's Furious Pete right there. The hearts of people all over the world. A grip made of both love and. Oh, yeah, just real quick. I hope Furious Pete is doing well. I know he lost one of his, um, you know, one of his nuggets. Some years ago, and I, I, I'm not trying to sound funny, but um, I hope he's doing good because that's a serious thing. And um, you know, shouts out to Furious Pete, man. He's a he's a big eater. That burger looked good too. Look at the lettuce is on it. That that lettuce looked way too way too good. I think it's maybe fake. And cholesterol. The burger is one of those guilty pleasures. Oh, look at the juice dripping. Y'all see the juice dripping on the bottom? resist mm. the origins of the hamburger go back to germany in the 18th century where a type of minced beef you know, sorry for pausing for the third time and we only a minute in but listen i don't even like when it's too juicy because then it's gonna mess up the bread so i don't know why i'm acting like i like the like the juice like that but it looked good when it was dripping now i'm not gonna lie but yeah if, if a burger's too juicy then the bread starts getting like soggy and crap i don't like it personally uh but anyway let's continue the video called Frikadella was served between two slices of bread. The mm. town where this first originated was freaky. called Hamburg. So you can see where it Ooh, got its name Hamburg. from. Hamburg. However, the origins of the American hamburger is something that's hotly contested. Texans are certain that Fletcher Davis was the first to serve a hamburger Ooh. back in the 1880s, while New Yorkers and New York. also lay claim to the birthplace of the American hamburger. Wherever it originated, it looks like it's here to stay. Mm. Chefs from all over the world have Ooh. invented their own take on the original beef patty between two slices of bread. Gee. And some of them have even become ridiculously expensive. Yeah. And the list we're about see? to share with see you the caviar? highlights all of the most expensive That's what makes it expensive. ever to be sold. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 10. The X Burger. The X Burger, $160. baby. $160. So we start with a burger that, although is ridiculously expensive for a single meal, is. Dang, hold on. The lowest one they got on here is 100. Well, is this the most top 10 most expensive? So that makes sense. But dang, 160 off the top. Oh, the X Burger better be 10 out of 10. Actually, within most people's price range, if they really want to treat themselves and love quality burgers. That's French toast. This burger can be found in the South Korean capital of Seoul at the W Hotel. Ooh, it is W Hotel! The finest Australian Wagyu beef and topped with a daunting array of black truffles, pine mushrooms, fresh asparagus, and a lobster tail. The sides include a tomato salsa, red wine truffle sauce and a red wine aioli we don't need all oh, that and there's also tomatoes and onions just to keep things traditional number nine the richard nouveau burger man that's richard ain't no richard 
The name Richard Nouveau is a play on words from the French saying nouveau riche, meaning new money. It refers to people who have gotten rich fast. Dang, this video than is a rich inheritance. video. This sharp burger can be found at the Wall Street Burger Shop in New York, right near the famous stock exchange. Damn. The burger's name reflects the joke that rich stockbrokers have the luxury of making about themselves once they are the rich archetypes of nouveau riche in every way. The burger is made from a delectable lean American steak mince topped with 25 grams of grated truffles, aged Gruyere cheese, foie gras, and flakes of real gold. For the decadent Fra bulls of Wall Street, this burger truly lives up to its name and location of residence. Number 8. The Burger. The ill. $190. What? This publicity stunt of a burger that don't look was good. released by Burger King back in 2008 in order to improve the image of the fast food chain. A small West London outlet on Gloucester Road was chosen to serve the burgers to customers that had booked by telephone in advance. The burger was only available on Thursdays for a limited time. Throughout the period of its sale, the Bro. Gloucester Road Burger King had ongoing scaffolding work out front, and the stuffy restaurant certainly didn't seem like the location of one of the world's most expensive burgers. The location was chosen because it was near to Harrods and could therefore attract the right clientele. For those customers that were interested, a special dining area had been prepared on the upper floor behind the velvet rope. The burger was made from prime Wagyu beef patties, white truffles, Cristal okay. onions, pata negra ham, Cristal Modena onions. balsamic vinegar, lamb's lettuce, and pink Himalayan sea salt. The Probably beef itself was criticized as being criminally overcooked, but Burger Ooh. King said they had to abide by strict health and safety guidelines. The ham, however, is some of the best that money can buy. Pata Negra pigs are raised in Majorca and fed on acorns, which gives the meat a unique flavor. Acorns. Number seven, Burger Extravagant, $295. What they got on this one? Served at the... I think I saw some caviar on, on, on this one. Burger Extravagant. Famous Serendipity 3 in New York. This is Damn, a serious burger. To date, they have eight different burgers to choose from on their menu, but this is the Royal Ace. It's made of the finest Japanese Wagyu beef that has been carefully marinated and infused with truffle butter. It's then Whoa. topped with perfectly melted Montgomery cheddar cheese and a single fried quail's egg that sits delightfully egg. above the succulent pile. The burger Whoa. has to be prepared from fresh each time it's ordered to ensure that the marination and infusion happens with perfect mastery. Of course. That's why it must be ordered 48 hours in advance of one's reservation. Oh, that's and crazy. Like all gourmet cuisine, the wow. burger extravagant is held with huge amounts of pomp and pride by its chef for such charming yet decadent simplicity. Number six, Dang. douche burger. Douche. Six hundred and sixty-six dollars. That is crazy. The douche burger was created by disgruntled burger flippers in one of New York's famous roadside burger. Oh, that's bands. crazy. The six 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 food truck team were dismayed at the direction the gourmet burger market was taking. Shut them down. And could not believe how much people would pay for a good old-fashioned meat between two pieces of bread. Yeah, that's they crazy. decided to send a message by creating the douche burger as a joke. A Kobe beef patty is topped with foie gras, Gruyere cheese, what is melted foie gras? champagne steam, truffles, lobster, Did it mean caviar? and 666's signature barbecue sauce. I see gold on the there. The burger is then wrapped in frivolous gold leaf. Franz Aliquo, the food truck's owner, said he was surprised at how popular the burger was. People kept on ordering it, and what started out as a joke has now become <laughs> a sensation some money. all around the world. And a Luxers, this is the halfway point of our meaty countdown. Hungry yet? If you're enjoying this list, you might also be interested in the top 10 most expensive whiskeys ever sold. Number 5. The 777 Burger. $777. Of course, a that list picture of the was most expensive terrible. burgers would not be right without an entry from the city of Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. This burger is made at La Burger Brasserie in Paris, Las Vegas complex. 
Unlike any other of the wow. burgers on this list, there is a list of buns to choose from. Ooh, you can decide like between a sesame that. bun that's been spattered with aged Parmesan cheese, Ooh. a caramelized onion bun, or Ooh. a tomato ciabatta bun that's been dried in a clay oven. I don't know about All that one. All the buns are baked fresh twice a day. Once you've decided between these delightful options, mm. you'll receive a sumptuous Kobe beef patty topped with marine lobster, caramelized onion, prosciutto Ooh. ham, triple cream brie cheese, and a drizzling of 100-year-old balsamic vinegar. The burger comes about with the a complimentary vinegar. bottle of Rosé Dom Perignon as appreciation for your fine taste in cuisine. Okay. Number four. Glam burger. Glam burger. One thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Now that's that's some. Hold on, bro. That's somebody's rent plus car payment, probably plus insurance. That is crazy. One seventeen. Yeah, you ain't. No normal person is buying this. Obviously, um, nah. You can't tell me no. A, a, a normal person is buying this unless if they planned to buy this. Nobody's just gonna go out and buy seventeen hundred or seventeen hundred dollar burger, man. Nobody's doing that on a regular day. If you plan for it, okay. But that's somebody's rent right there, or a half of somebody's rent, to say the least. I mean, dang, seventeen hundred. This burger is the. This better taste like. This better taste like. Something I've never tasted before. Like this gotta be, this has to make me, this has to give me some kind of power or something. Like this, it just can't be seventeen hundred and and I eat it and it's done. I just ate seventeen hundred dollars that easily. You gotta, I got you, you. You have to change my life. You have to do like uh, genuine and my life. My whole life has to, like my whole life has to change after that. It, something has to transform, bro only one on this list that's served in the UK. Found at the Honky Tonk in London's trendy Soho district, the Glam Burger is so loaded, it's pretty much impossible to eat with your hands. A Kobe Wagyu Can't beef even eat it. is topped with New Zealand venison steak, smoked pink Himalayan sea salt, caviar, lobster poached in Iranian saffron, Ooh. a hickory smoked duck egg, Japanese matcha, champagne juice, grated white truffle, champagne streaky juice. bacon, and a drizzling of melted brie cheese. This Ooh. beautiful monstrosity Ooh, is then sound. covered in outrageous gold leaf. That sound gold. In total, I mean, good. The burger weighs nearly a kilo and houses ingredients from every continent around the globe except for Antarctica. Mm. Number three. Okay, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous burger. Okay, now you see the size of this. This is like worth the money already because of the size. You know what I'm saying? The size shows you, okay, this is probably a lot of... It's probably a lot of meat worth up to a certain amount of dollars. And yeah, you see all the this make more sense price wise just because of the portion. Now the question is like, bro, it don't look very tasty. I mean, I see a whole bunch of this look messy. It don't look attractive to me. I don't think this is a, an, an attractive looking burger. Look, they got a fries on the top, a whole bunch of pickles. This looks gross, honestly. I'm not gross, but it don't look, to me, it doesn't look appetizing. It looks like a a, a very challenging thing to eat, um, but it doesn't look, like with all the lettuce, it just looks a little messy. $2,000. This burger has challenged nah. groups of It looks like a, it, it, it like, they're gonna, um, like, it looks like clay, like. Uh, art project. That's what it looks like. Look how thick the beef is. That is crazy, bro. How are you supposed to eat that? No, I would not. I would never pay for that unless I'm trying to feed a family of 500. But besides that, this is just it's not the cheese is not even melted. What is it like a this is this is not a good burger, bro. Just men and women off of just look. The burger is monstrous, and many who approach with confidence have left with a sickeningly full stomach, their tail between their legs, and a much lighter wallet. The war zone that is the dining table okay. will often have at whole least team. half the burger remaining. 
The Burger comes from Mally's Sports Bar and Grill in Detroit and was featured on the popular TV show Man vs. Food. How did they food. make that? The burger takes 22 hours to prepare and is made up of 15 heads of lettuce, 30 slices of bacon, 36 slices of cheese, and a 15-pound beef patty. Bro. Including the bread, the burger weighs close to 20 pounds. Grab some of your most trusted eating companions. Get yourself to Detroit and take on the Nobody's challenge. finishing that, bro. Number two, Fleur Burger 5,000. 3,000 3, burger. That burger looks so simple. 3,000 for one burger. Fleur Burger. Fleur Burger. You know, the name makes it plus... Fifteen hundred dollars, like that's where the the half of the prices come from, bro. What is going on here? It don't look fancy. It looks like a regular burger with some sauce on it and some some other meat on the top. I don't know if that's fish or what. It looks pretty good. It don't look nasty, but it just don't look like it's three thousand dollars. That look like it's about thirty five, thirty five at probably even twenty two. Let's see. Wow. $3,000. Another Las Vegas burger hits the high end of this list. This beauty can be found at the Fleur de Lis restaurant in Mandalay Bay Resort. It was created by chef Hubert Keller and contains the most tender Wagyu beef patty on the planet. How you know that? To some sources. This is topped with foie gras, shaved black truffles, and a secret sauce the ingredients of which will never be revealed because it's such a priceless recipe. The brioche bun reeks Ooh. of typical French decadence as it's infused Bro, carefully with- the burger not even cooked! Look at how red is it, it is in there! $3,000 for ground beef? That's not- Bro, the burger is too red, bro. I like it medium well. With a little bit of red in it, but that looks like it's just meat. That looks like it's just raw. And somebody just painted the outside like black or brown. That is not... Anyway, let's see. Some of the world's finest truffles. And if you don't feel like three grand is enough, you can always tack on a $2,000 bottle of red wine to Why? make things even more ridiculously satisfying. No, don't Number do that. one. The Dubai Burger. Dubai. Okay. $10,000. $10,000, bro. In 2016, the Pink Caravan Charity held a fundraiser at one of Dubai's most famous malls in order to try to raise funds for research into breast cancer so it can be recognized at earlier stages. The burger raised nearly a third of the total amount. The stack of eight beef patties was topped with aged cheddar, veal bacon, seven spices, and a special harissa sauce. The bun was infused with extremely special saffron. The burger was made by seven of Dubai's most esteemed chefs and bought anonymously by an extremely philanthropic woman. And Aluxers, that's the end of our list. The top 10 most expensive and elite burgers in this world. Now a question for you. Which burger would you eat if they all only cost fifty dollars? <laughs> Shoot, drop it down in the comments. Which which burger would you eat if it only cost fifty dollars? Um I would eat I would eat um dang, I don't know which number it is, but I would eat the one that dang, I'll eat a lot of them. I can't I can't I probably gotta go back and look, but since you guys are watching it, you guys can see it for yourself. Drop your your one that you'll eat for fifty dollars in the in the comments below, and if if that that may be your uh, number one pick, drop your number one pick. Either drop your number one pick or the one you would eat for fifty. If if everything costs fifty dollars, fifty dollars for a burger is kind of crazy still, but drop which one that you guys would eat if it only costs fifty dollars. Whichever one. Uh, I thought these burgers, some of them were just ridiculous. <clears throat> a couple of them didn't look good, um, and it's like. You're really not paying for um, just the quality. You're paying for the, I don't want to say ambiance because I don't think that's a proper word for that. But you're paying for the, you're paying for the, you're paying for stuff outside of the taste of the burger as well as the taste. 
You know, it's just not if it tastes good or not. It's like, okay, is it classy? Does it have certain ingredients? You know, gold, stuff like that, and where it's coming from. So, I do wonder how these burgers hold up in taste. I know that big giant one, that big giant one ain't. It don't look like it's gonna taste good. I I could be totally wrong. It could taste like a amazing burger, but it don't look good. It doesn't look good. It looks like too much meat. That's a lot of meat. Pause. Um, it's a lot of meat in there. So drop your thoughts in the comments, man. Get in the comments. Run it up. It's 88 TV. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.